supply i am an income entrepreneur i don't know what is supply please i don't want to lose in business please please discuss what is supply to me well no worry you're in the right place um welcome guys my name is jerome today i'm going to be discussing the law of supply and what is it important to understand this law and how you can generate more profit or income for your business by understanding this business concept and how this law affect our economy in everyday life like every day this law apply every day to everything that we do in the economy so today for this video i'm going to be unlocking your understanding for this law so stay with me and today i'm also going to be giving you a visual graphic how to understand this law and how you can apply this law to your business and generate more income yeah get more profit by understanding this law and how to avoid losses when you understand this law so stay with me as a propound <music> So thank you. So first of all, what is supply? Supply is the amount of resources that a firm producer laborers provide for financial asset. Um, supply can be everything, like anything pertaining to goods, labor time, raw materials, or anything valuable it can be supply. And what what is the law of supply? Why the law of supply state? Supply, supply. What's the law of supply state? If you think about the law of supply, why do you really think about? I know, I know what you're thinking. It's not what you're thinking. So I'm going to tell you why the law of supply. So what is supply? The law of supply state that the highest, the price of a commodity, the the highest the price of a commodity, the highest the quantity supply. The lower the price of a commodity, the lower the quantity supply. You're confused, right? You're confused? Don't be confused. That's why the Ask Media Show is about. To unlock your understanding of business and give you the right and proper information and how to apply these steps and getting more incomes to your business. So stay with me. In other words, the law of supply state the higher the price of the goose, the more the producer growing the supply. The lower the price of the goose, the lower the producer growing the supply. Like just say for instance, I am a farmer, I am I, yeah, I'm producing grape. And probably the price on grape on the market is around a dollar, right? And I'm set for every pound of grape I'm selling, I'm earning one dollar for from that grape. So I won't produce more goods because why? Because the price of grape does not increase at that moment. But let's like just say for instance, month after and the price of grape skyrocket to two dollar. I said, Oh well, when I was when I was producing like Hundred thousand pound of grape, I going to produce like two, two hundred thousand pound of grape because why the price of grape had increased. So as price increases, the low, the, the higher the price increases, the more the quantity supply. And I'm also going to be giving a visual insertment of what I'm talking about about supply. So stay with me as I go through this course. So guys, as I was saying previously, um, the highest the price of a commodity, the highest the quantity supply. 
the lower the price of a commodity the lower the quantity supply in other words the higher the price of a goose the more product the farmer is going to be willing to produce so here is scenario one we have the goose the price and the quantity supply so like just for east 10 the goose is um great let's just say great right and the price of grade is probably one dollar let's say one dollar and the quantity that the farmer is supplying at that moment is going to be just say a hundred thousand pounds so like just say for instance two months after the price of grip change we have an increase in price for about two dollar the farmer say oh well great price sky right here to two dollar oh well i got to produce more grape so the farmer are going to increase his product you're going to increase like you're going to buy more land plant more grapes to get yeah to basically to to meet up with this price to earn more profit so the farmer are going to produce probably you buy like large land a fertile soil to produce like two hundred thousand pounds so let's just say um two months after great price scar right here to full data oh the farmer really going to be happy he said, oh my god oh my goodness you gotta be kidding me so the farmer going to like look for land buy more land or filter land to plant more grapes because why the price of grapes have increased let's say the first month first month the second month and let's just say the fourth month So the four month, the fourth month, the price of grace increases to full data, and the farmer will be waiting to buy more land. He'll be waiting to buy more land to earn more profit. Waiting to buy more land to plant enough grapes to increase his earning. The fourth month for data, he got to probably going to produce like four hundred thousand pounds or half a million pounds. All depends the mass of the land and the work he's doing. So he's he's produced four hundred thousand pounds. So how the this affect the graph of of supply how this basic scenario affect the graph of supply so i'm also going to be giving you a visual graphic of the graph of supply so here is the curve of supply we have price here We have price here and we have 
quantity supply. Quantity supply. So we have the curve here. So here we have the curve here showing the graphic relationship between price and quantity. So, um, by the way, here is the neutral price. Origin is zeroed. And price one, press press one, press one, quantity one, press two. I'm sorry, no space for this. Press two, quantity. Two press three quantity three and here we have we have the supply curve. The higher the price of a commodity, the higher the quantity supply. The higher the price of commodity, the higher the quantity supply. So, supply. The higher the price, the higher the quantity. The higher the price of supply, the higher the quantity produced. The more the price go up, the more the farmer will be willing to produce more grapes. Paul, what are some factors that affect supply? Like just say price drop or practically minimum wage increase. The, the minimum wage of a worker increases. Probably you are paying your your your, your worker fifteen dollar or twenty dollar per hour, but it's car right here to to like twenty five or thirty dollars. And also the press of the press of grip the press of grip decrease the press depreciate the press decrease from four data to three data to three data so here we have decrease in price. Decrease in price. So here we have decrease in price. Here we have increase in price. Here we have increase in price, and here we have decrease in price. So as 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 time going on, as time went on, and the price stopped. The price of grapes start to decrease from four data to three data to three data. It started to decrease to three data, and I said. So the farmer said, well, since, since the price of grape is decreasing and 
workout minimum wage is increasing so i gotta find another strategy i kind of look for another strategy to generate more income and well the the farmer going to drop the quantity the quantity maybe you're going to produce two two hundred and fifty thousand pounds of grapes going to supply the market with two hundred and fifty thousand pounds so well when the farmer observe 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 the market he found out that blueberries and blueberries the price of blueberries increase so that blueberry increases he said oh well 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 i gotta change strategy Blueberries, goose. Um, the price of blueberries increases to five dollars on the market. He said, "Well, well, well. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I tried to study this stuff and know what I'm doing. I'm going to transition from grape to blueberries because why well, the price of blueberries is increasing." So I got to switch. I had to um sell my remaining product of of the grape and start to plant blueberries. So the farmer going to like sell all that product, make sure everything done and start to plant blueberry. So probably the first time he going to like produce Half a million pounds, five hundred thousand pounds. Of five hundred thousand pounds of blueberries. Because while well, the price of blueberry increases, so you're going to produce more goods. More goods supply the market with 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 more products. We are talking about profit here, we are not talking about losses. So so as as a relate to supply the higher the price of a commodity the highest the quantity supply the lower the price the lower the quantity supply you don't want to be in the case that you see the price the price of 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 grip is declining and you are still producing lot of grapes no 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 you don't want to be that you got to observe the market you got to know what is going on you got to be informed about the market that you are doing don't just sit by and just watch the price declining and you are radically producing more grapes and on the other hand we have your your workers minimum wage increasing it's skyrocketing from 15 or um, probably like ten dollars increasing all the way to twenty dollars. So you don't want to be in that position. You always want to be in the position of profit. We are discussing profit. You want to get more profit. So thank you guys. Thank you for watching. And always feel free to share the video. Remember, once you are sharing my video, you are not you are not just promoting me. You are also informing other businesses or entrepreneur how to run the businesses you're also sharing my ideas giving them ideas so thank you guys don't forget to subscribe if you're not and also smash the like button and also comment your thought in the comment section we want to hear from you want want to get a feedback from you we want to know what we are yeah basically we want to get a feedback from you thank you guys i will see you in the next video